Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today myself and Sly are in eight NCs and we're going to show how to ripple a bunch of GBUs, JDAMs, onto a target so that they hit the target almost simultaneously. So if you were in a scenario where you wanted up to six targets to be hit, not perfectly simultaneously, but within, you know, a few seconds. First things are going to go to a Dismas, Dismas, make sure that we've got all our weapons and they're all looking good. They're fine. We don't need to edit the weapon profile because as standard they'll be set up fine. Next, we're going to make sure our ANC, AHCP panel is fine, so we need our, our Master Arm on, and we need our TGP on, that's good. Next thing we need to do is create six mark points, which we're going to put into a flight plan, which we're going to allow us to cycle between those mark points and drop the bombs almost simultaneously. So, our usual procedure of getting our TGP up, so TGP on, air to ground, we're going to make this screen soy with a coolie right long. I'll try and talk through my controls as I go. So we've got uh, two sets of targets. Each target, with each target, there are six vehicles. I'm going to take the ones that are closest to the sea. Sly will take the more inland ones. I'm going to maneuver so that the diamond representing the TGP on my screen is roughly over the target. When I've got it roughly over the target, I'm going to TMS up short to ground lock it or to lock it onto the terrain. I can now use my slew, weapon slew, to slew it to a target and it will be that one there. Now to create a mark point from that, I am going to TMS right short. And I've done that. Now I'm going to check that's worked so I'm going to put my master CDU mode in mark and we can see we've got mark A there sele uh, selected so that has worked next I'm going to slew well, slightly off target there which is a bit annoying but you know what hopefully it'll be close enough next I'm going to select that guy there I'm going to TMS right short again to make mark point B and that TMS right to make that one TMS right again that one TMS right again that one TMS right again Okay, we now should have A, B, C, D, E, and F mark points. And to double check that, we're going to go to the HUD. We're going to make it center of interest by coolie up short. I'm going to cycle between these marks here with DMS up and down. So B, C, D, E, and F. So we've got them all there. Okay, so now we've got our six mark points set. We need to convert that into a flight plan to be actually be able to ripple our bombs. So we're going to go master CDU to flight plan. We're going to go to flight plan management. We're going to create a flight plan, second flight plan here. I'm going to call it CAP, C, A, P, number two there. Uh, we're going to click on it here to make it active. We're going to click here to populate it. We're going to populate it with element one with mark point A. So we're going to just type A in and click on the first element. So element one is now mark point A. Now we're going to press B, click on second element, and so on. Page down. Uh, F. So it's now fully populated with mark points A to F. We're going to come out of flight back to the main flight band management. We're now going to just double click population. Uh, so we've got F, E, D, and page up A, B, C. Right, good. So I'm happy with that. I'm turning back in now. The next thing I want to do is check those six mark points to check they're in the same in the right place. So first, I'm going to designate my or I'm going to slave my TGP to my uh, speed, my point of interest, and I'm going to do that with China hat forward long. And I've done that, and it's now designating to the active speed that I've got selected or the active mark point. So I'm going to go F. I can cycle through them with D DMS up and down now. Uh, let me just point myself in the right direction so I don't fly out too far. But we can do it as we go. So that's mark point F. I'm going to go DMS down to mark point E. That looks good. D, C, B, A. So we can now cycle through our targets with DMS up and down. We've now got to get our weapon prepared. We're going to ensure that HUD is soy, and it is because we've got the star there. We're going to select our weapon with DMS left or right. I've gone left. I've got GBU 38. We're not going to go through the symbology because I've got proper tutorials how to use these GBU 38s. So now we're going to go in for our bomb run. What we're going to do when the range carrot is between the min and maximum drop markers here and here, what we're going to do is we're going to drop the weapon and then we're going to uh, DMS up to the next point and then DMS up to the next point and drop each time. So I'll call it through as I go. Uh, I'll get more time to drop if I go a little bit slower, I find. So 200 knots should do it. Quick cursory check on the TGP. I think we're all good to go. So we're bombing on mark point A we've got selected first of all. Got a little way to go yet. 
And as soon as our ranging carrot, is, which is currently there, unwinds between our points, we can start dropping. I'm going to check. Ah. And we can check on our dismiss to make sure it drops. So, drop one. Up. Drop two. Up. Drop three. Up. Drop four. Up. Drop five. Up. Drop six. <laughs> I think that's, yes, that's all six gone. You have to do them pretty quickly, as you can see. Right, I put myself in autopilot, and then we'll follow them down. Okay, down they go. Right, so that was how to drop six bombs in just a few seconds. Um, I didn't have time to explain it, but when I was dropping, what I was, I, was, I was doing is I was pressing and holding release until the active bomb dropped. Then I was pressing DMS up to cycle to the next mark point, then pressing bomb release and drop again, and then doing that six times in between those two uh, ranging carrots. Okay, that's all I wanted to show. I hope that helps, and see you later.